Good day everyone. Welcome to another episode in our series. Together we learn how to be better pet owners and how to make our pets happier. Join us. Today we will talk about Pembroke Welsh Corgi. Let's cross Rainbow Bridge together for a moment and even if we don't find unicorns, leprechauns and pot of gold at the end of it, maybe we will at least find this wonderful breed of dogs. Legend goes like this. Fairy King and Queen and the other fairies needed a safe and fast transportation, because they were traveling long distances. That's why they created this fox-like dog, which was fast and reliable. They served them well, and the fairies loved their corgi. But then the Fairy King saw the people, how they were struggling, and how hard it was for them, because they were working a lot. That's why he decided to help them, and give them his corgi. He set them free, and the two dogs soon found themselves in the realm of humans in a joyful game and running. There, in the forest, the children found them, and when they took them home all happy and cheerful, their father told them that his dogs were a gift from the Fairy King. Since then, Corgi had been living happily with people, helping them in their daily work and life. At least that's what the Welsh legend says, and whether it's true, we'll leave that up to you. Their name alone can be translated as dwarf dog, whether because of their small stature, or because of the small people they belong to, the legend lives on. What has been established and confirmed is the wonderful character of these dogs, and their spread and ownership all over the world. This is not entirely without reason, let's look together at just some of the facts related to this breed of dogs, which will convince us of their magic. Body Structure Corgi really resembles a fox with long pointy ears and a slightly elongated muzzle. His body really looks like fairies made him, so they could ride him, with short legs and a long body he really looks like a fairy steed. It has thick double fur, and it is most often color red and white. When we see a corgi that is mau, brindle and white, it is cardigan Welsh corgi. It is a special species, although they are very similar, cardigan is a bit bigger, has a calmer character and usually has a tail. Pembroke, despite its short legs, is an extremely fast and energetic dog that loves to run. For this reason, and because of its small stature, it was an exceptional herd guard dog, guarding not only cows, but also other animals on the farm, and not infrequently geese too. Character Traits This is an extremely intelligent dog, easy to train, who loves to learn and work, boredom is what makes this little dog unhappy and destructive. No dog likes to be alone for a long time, which is the case with him. He likes company and constant stimulation and action, which makes him an exceptional family dog. He loves children and all members of his family. You will never be bored with this dog. They love to bark, and thus express their wishes and needs. They love to cuddle with their owner, and you'll agree there's nothing sweeter than a corgi that's fallen asleep on its back with its paws in the air, tired from a whole day of happy running around. With this, your corgi just lets you know that it loves and trusts you, and that it feels relaxed and safe in your company. Enjoy learning new things. Help this channel grow and have fun with us. It's easy, just click like, share and subscribe and you've helped us a lot. Health. Do not think that this dog has many health problems because of its unusual build. Of course, they have health problems that small breeds of dogs usually have, such as problems with the spine and hips. They may have problems with allergies, but these are not health problems that are life-threatening. At the end of the day this was a poor man's farmer's dog, which had to be strong and tough. Of course there are always exceptions. In any case, take care of your dog's health, pay attention to his weight, because this dogs love to eat, and excessive weight can put additional strain on their spine and legs, and cause them health problems. Exercise regularly, visit the vet if needed, and give your corgi the best of life as much as you can. Their thick fur does not require much, but they shed a lot, so they need to be brushed at least once a week, and bathed from time to time. These dogs are born with a tail, but due to the specificity of the breed, it is a practice to cut the tail. This may seem cruel, and in some countries it is even prohibited. Sometimes they can be born without a tail, and this is called a natural bobtail. Interesting Facts Certainly the most famous corgi today are the corgi of Her Late Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, who have been proud members of the royal family for decades. The Queen has always loved them, and from her corgi Susan, 14 generations of her offspring have been lovingly raised in the royal palace. Whether it is a corgi, that is a farm dog or a royal one, it is certainly a dog worthy of our love and attention. 
They say, even today, that a good and honest eye will see on them the lines left by fairy saddles and bridles. Take a good look at your corgi, and even if you don't see these markings, we are sure you will see and recognize the magic of the fairies in the eyes of this wonderful little dog. That would be all for today's lesson, join us in the next episode, and don't forget to subscribe and like. Also ring that bell, so you don't miss the next class. Stay safe and happy. And don't forget, love and respect all your pets, and enjoy the time you are given to spend together.